What's up, y'all? Welcome back to our daily life as the Calhouns. Period. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So, we about to do, um, get to know us. Yeah, I'm China. I'm 22 years old. My birthday is March 6th. I'm a Pisces. And yeah. Alright. I'm Raven, but you can call me Ray. I'm 23 years old. I'm a Virgo. My birthday is August 30th. Yeah. Got a load of Virgos. Y'all see what I did with? Yeah. She a Virgo. Oh, she's a Pisces. <laughs> I met Ray, or this is what I remember. I met Ray because I had moved in with my sister on my dad's side. And my sister and her sister were best friends. I always saw her, but they always made it seem like she was weird. I'm just like, okay, I ain't gonna mess with the girl. I started talking to Raven's mama because she was just like always around in the neighborhood. I always, y'all, I don't know why it is, but I always gravitate to older women. Her and my mom was like best <laughs> friends. That was tight. I'm like, why do you like this little girl? So yeah, we talking and she was just like, um, my daughter, she was like, you and my daughter be good friends. Yeah. Raven don't go nowhere, she don't do nothing. And I was like, my sister, my best friend. I don't need no best friend. <laughs> That is all she used to say. My sister, my best friend, I don't need no best friend. So, I guess she went back, her mama went back and told Raven. And yeah. But then, we had went to a hood day, and Raven came with us, and then I was just turned up, y'all, like, like, on the phone, like, turned up. <laughs> I was not fooling with her. The only reason I was not fooling with her, because, like, her sister knew my sister, and I ain't really, mm, I ain't really want, I went to, I don't be with that, because, yeah. I don't be fooling with that, so I'd be like, nah, I don't trust this girl, like, I got trust issues, so I was like, nah, I don't want to fool with that. She was so quiet, y'all, the whole night, like, I keep asking her, you good, you good, like, she like, like, I'm drinking, I'm like, you want something, she like, I'm a good, I'm so <laughs> stiff on her, like, but she was cool, but I was like, mm, mm But I'm not knowing this. I'm like, maybe she really is a weirdo. And I used to crack jokes like this because I had seen China before. She actually, she was, I was trying to curl her hair or something. I had seen China before. Oh, you was and at was my sister's house getting your hair done. Yeah, and I was like, I'm going um, to mess with her. Like, I'm going to, and I kept telling my friends that, they was like, girl, shut up. Like, you ain't going to mess with that girl. But I was like, I am, before I even knew her. So, look, look at us now. That's crazy. <laughs> But yeah, so towards the end of that night, when we was at the hood date, um, she was like, she had put uh, put me on her story, or mm -hmm. I think I took your phone yeah. and recorded a video. No, it was on your story, but oh, people was logged in on my phone or something like that. Mm -hmm. Her friends was logged in her stuff, and they saw me with her, and they was like, "Who's name my y'all?" <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> they was losing their mind behind me. Little old me. Yeah, I had. I she made me lose all my friends. All my friends and my friends. <laughs> so from that day, y'all, we hit it off good, and then we just became best friends. Like, yeah, like we couldn't, we couldn't stay away from each other. Around each other, twenty four seven, talking every day. Walk to the bus to go to school. Mind you, we go to two different schools. The bus first. I went on Raven. I'm waiting on her. Yeah, or she waiting on me. Like it was bad. Like freaking frat. It was tight. It was so tight. Right, everybody's like, y'all go together. Y'all weird. We never. We was not going together. We was literally best friends. So then one day we was holding hands on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even realize we was holding hands. Did and you really know? No, I was just. We was just holding hands. Okay. It wasn't like that. We was like. It wasn't like that. We was on like Thanksgiving break. Was holding hands on the couch or something like that. Mm -hmm. And those would come in like, mm, not to all holding hands. And we look at each like, we holding hands. I mean, from that point on, it was like, like weird. Like, we yeah. was like, it's some, it's some between us. Like, like you know how y'all feel it? Have you, like, you can feel it. Yeah. So it was like, we both felt it and we never like said nothing, but you could feel it. Yeah. So then I had played. Must be nice. Oh yes, yeah, by life Jen Jenkins or Jennings. And um, when I tell y'all, 
Um, she was like, who you playing this song about? I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, like you know. You know. <laughs> and then, it was just weird. And then they seen them. Um, we basically told each other we like each other. Cause I tried to, I tried to do it with her before she even tried to do it with me. Yeah, yeah. She tried to take me to her sister house when her sister was gone, and she was like, "I gotta take out my sister trash." And I was like, "Cool, I go up there with you." So we get in her sister's apartment, and she like, um, like I go to the trash can like to take the trash out, and she like, "Nah, I ain't gotta take no trash out." Like she tried to pull my clothes up. She would not let and me. And then she threw me on the sofa. I was like, "No, what are you doing?" I'm coming back. But then she gonna pull the next the same move the next day, like come out the bathroom. She wanna go take a shower, y'all. Came out the bathroom with a short old dress on. Dress so short. That was my moo moo. She was like, come on. I was like, okay, shit. <laughs> Raven was nervous. I was. I was real nervous, y'all. I was scared. I was like, what you want, guy? I'm like, what you mean, come on? He was like, come on. She wasn't, she was nervous. She was so nervous, like she was shaking in her boots. I'm like, like yeah, this is not what you want. Baby, yeah, we had a time. Yeah. And we got caught. Well, we, we didn't get caught. So that 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 rumor that goes around <laughs> that we got caught is the stupidest shit that we did not get caught. We was done, and I went out the door, and her sister was coming in the door. Yeah. Did they, did we do anything? And I don't know what happened from there. And I said we did. I told the truth. First I lied, I think. But. Yeah, I ended up telling the truth, thinking it was gonna be like just cool, but it went low. Baby, from now, they were trying to break us up. They wanted to be together. They want to see us winning, baby. They was not trying to have us together. Yeah. They wanted us to be best friends, right? So they went, they weren't feeling us together. So they kind of how we get how we started. Um, then. I went to college. Um, no, actually, I moved back with my mom the day we graduated high school. Yeah, then we was, when she was with her mom, I was like her best friend, so, so she yeah. wasn't ready to tell them that like we was together or whatever. So, cause I was, I was trying to see my baby. Like I wasn't. I knew if I had told my mom the truth, we, me and Raven wasn't gonna be able to sleep in the same room together in the same bed. Like you know, so it was cool. She was my best friend, and we was still, you know. <laughs> Like, y'all just be too close. Like, we don't do nothing without each other. We was tight. Like, I tell y'all, we just like tight, tight. We've been tight, know. like, since we met. And it's crazy because people be like, something ain't right about y'all. <laughs> and we were just like, um, nah, we just best friends. Like, Raven did not want to lie. She hated mine. I was like, tell him, Rave. Mm -hmm. I didn't be laughing. Like, you know, we best friends. But she coming over every weekend. Every weekend, like <laughs> I'm taking out work for weeks. I'm like, and this summer, this the summer before we before going to, like going to college. Yeah, you know, into our real life. For my job, I told him I want to come back. Cause she was spending. You was over my house for what, like a week? Yeah. Like a week at a time, and then she go home. I was over there like two weeks one time, cause I had went to Florida with y'all, and I had came back. And I was still over there. Raven, Raven used to be there, like we was like there real bad, y'all. And then when we left. I left for college. Oh, it was the saddest day of my life. I thought I had lost my best friend. <laughs> when he went to college, cause I didn't go to college because my fast was messed up, so I couldn't go to college. And Raven was at my house, so her brother didn't come get her. So I was like, bet like you just gonna ride with, you just gonna ride with her." Mm mm. The crew said, "My mama." The crew just then let me come with y'all. Yeah, and we were like, "Oh wow." <laughs> um, we were feeling some type of way about it. Yeah. Them. Well, people were talking about you bad then. <laughs> 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 so then what happened? Um, I go to college and we like had started doing the long distance thing because I was in college and. Basically, I started coming home every weekend. Yes, um, every weekend. Every weekend on the Greyhound. Raven was buying me tickets or whatever to come home because we were supposed to be doing a little job with her mama yeah. making extra money. And that just became a thing. Like, once we 
did that it just became a thing like i'm just coming home period like i'm yeah. just coming home every weekend so and your mama still didn't know we were still going together so yeah nobody knew we was going to get there we were still kicking it like we was just friends well her mama knew that we was going to get there yeah carla always knew we was going yeah there, so. so um basically we was doing that and then it was just had got to a point where i was like i'm not going back to school like i'm not i don't I don't want to do it. I'm not happy. I'm just raving. Like, this who I want to be with. And she didn't go back to school. And I was just like, I'm not going back. And when they, how long was I going? Like a week? When? When I didn't go back and did my grandma saw. The location. Yeah, my grandma saw my location. And she told my mama. And then they was calling me. And I was like, acting like I was sick. I was at school. <laughs> she was lying to the post. I was like, you got to go back. <laughs> and then Ray was like, you got to go back. But I was like forget it like i don't want to go back yeah and I'm then i end go up back. going back and then <laughs> y'all the crazy thing happened it was like, my roommate and my mama talking y'all and i don't even know how that they, happened it was like chopping it up i felt like that was like they was talking like i hated my roommate like i hated this girl so bad like we just couldn't get along because she just was doing too much she had too much going on like it was like her first time being wow she just had a lot going on that her mom didn't know about and it was just like too much snacks and stuff like that we didn't talk because baby i had them stamps and we see how did you have stamps in school that's crazy because i had got my own stamps that summer right. and then i just was like i made sure i had plenty of food she's, i was even she's giving me food but she's had me so <laughs> many snacks y'all i tell you this very yeah, I know I love snacks. No, I did not. This woman used to... Well, I swear. Because she used to take care of me, like, make sure I was good financially. So, it was like, I love this girl, like, when I had, had got this whole car. When I had got jumped one time. I got beat up by a whole bunch of niggas, right? She got beat up. We yeah, will talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk about that in another story, but just know, like, my came, family had something to do with it. No, listen, look, she came down and she brought me so many snacks Food and everything. Cause it was your birthday. It was my birthday too. I forgot it was my birthday too. But it was it was just like the sweetest day ever. It was just sad though. I'm sorry, y'all. Man, then I had my I had her some like um boxes and everything. But yeah, um the, that's when Ethica had first came out. So I had her some like Ethica draws and stuff like that. But I was just so I don't know, what was we saying? Uh, we were just talking oh, about your roommate and stuff like that. Yeah, now. just my roommate. So my mom and my roommate talking. My room, I don't even know how they got each other number, how they talking. Like but, her mama is like an FBI agent. So she, she, the roommate told my mama all my business. So basically her mama was coming up there. Her, was her mama coming up there or I just called her mama? How did I get, I, somehow I got Somehow in, they got in contact because her mama was, I think her mama was coming to get her from school because she didn't got into some stuff or something yeah. like that. She, Girl, you snitched on a woman. You I told, told her mama everything. I said, you wanna you wanna do this? Baby, I told her mama everything. Like and her mama like pulling her by her hair, like in there, like, oh, this how you been showing now. Like it was crazy. I move out, um, I leave Savannah State yeah. and I come back home and I'm staying You were staying we were staying together. Yeah, I was staying house. with Raven, um we'll in her mama house. For like a month, because we had to move anyway. So yeah. It was so, during COVID time. So we ended up getting our own apartment. Like, y'all, every day, Raven, I'm trying to find a job. Raven working, you was working one job or two jobs? I was working one job and I was selling lashes. I was just like a little hustler. Yeah, and then she was selling swimsuits and everything. So, like, we was just doing that and Raven had got us our first apartment. Like, I ain't paid for nothing. Like, she had paid for everything and then we moved in our apartment and. It's been up since. We've been together ever since. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, we stayed in that apartment. We stayed in that apartment for a little bit, and then we had end up moving. Yeah, because I got a job with her sister doing a leasing agent. I became a leasing agent. Y'all, the sun won't let us yes, be Yes, they would, it would not let us be great. So, they gave me an opportunity to become a leasing agent. So, I was doing that, and we ended up moving into that community. And then... We moved again. Her <laughs> mama had moved to that community. And then some things had happened in that community. Kind of like with us and our neighbors. They were, like, really racist towards us. And we was just like, forget this. So we was like, we was in Jonesboro. Yeah. So then we was like, we finna move to the city and be them girls. We finna yeah. enjoy the city life. And I got us in the heart of the city, baby. We was staying right there on Edgewood. Not too far from the belt line. And we love that. Yeah, it's like, like right there by the belt line. Yeah, on Edgewood. Real big apartment too. 
and it was nice it was two bedroom two bath it was just really too big like i feel like we got that apartment before our time yeah like, I feel like we did too, um, cause we definitely lost ourselves in that apartment. Like we, yeah, we kind of got like really depressed and. Raven Bacon Business was doing amazing. Like she had been working on it from when I became a leasing agent in that community, and um, everybody doubted us. Like, oh, you going to work? Raven making cakes. Like it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. Gonna baby yeah, yeah, yeah. Dreams, i kept telling her <laughs> follow your dreams like forget what people saying like baby i trust you like do this like one thing if this woman make a promise to me she gonna keep it like i believe anything she say like she been telling me about youtube i was just like i don't know right i remember being in my dorm and she was just i was washing my clothes and she was like man i'm gonna be rich off youtube i want to do youtube so bad <laughs> the phone overheated again yeah we having a hard time ain't it but it's cool we're gonna get this video done um but yeah so everybody was just saying like how it wasn't gonna work about the bacon thing but raven did it so by the time we had moved again her bacon her business was doing good like people were starting to notice her wanting cupcakes like celebrities um just known people in the city so we was doing she was doing that and at that point i didn't have a job i had yeah. just quit my job being a leasing agent um to move to the city and everybody was leaving like the property was selling so yeah. everybody was just going their own different way and i just chose not to move forward with the company um to atlanta and then what was we doing we was doing gig work yeah, that's we when we had gig work and then started doing that's when we started doing amazon flex yeah we had just started doing because we had just got a car y'all without knowing how to drive yeah we got a car we didn't know how to drive or nothing so Anything is possible, yeah, yeah. If y'all put y'all mind to it, I swear to God, y'all can do it. Cause I have accomplished yeah. so many things. You just put my mind to it. Like I'm telling y'all, y'all can do it. Then y'all put your mind to it. But then we was driving. We had got a car. Yeah, and, and it, then we was doing gig work for a while, and then we just got tired of Atlanta. And that's where and we ended up in Houston. We was talking one day, and um, China was like, um. No, I was like, no, we had kind of hit rock bottom, y'all. This yeah. was our first time ever hitting rock bottom. Yeah. We had basically like gig work just wasn't working out. Um, our, we was having so many problems with our car, and we was just like taking it everywhere. And people were like, oh, y'all need to get rid of this car. So we tried to sell it. Um, didn't work. Didn't really work. So we was like, I seen van life, or you had told me about van life. You had seen Van Life and we thought about doing, yeah. We I seen Van Life on tic, on uh -huh. YouTube and TikTok, I think. And I was like, I'm going to do, I want to do Van Life, Ray. And she was just kind of like, she was down with it. So we had found this dealership that would take our car. And we would have a small down payment for, to get a van. Right. So we had got the cargo van and everything. And y'all. Yeah, we literally had a cargo van. I swear, y'all would not believe this. We had a cargo van. But go ahead and finish telling the story. Go tell them. We had a cargo van. Y'all. Oh my god, it was just like so much was going wrong. We was mm -hmm. trying to do this, like it was terrible. Something was wrong with the van. We went to the mechanic and tried to get it seen. We had already bought the van now at this point, Pan, so we had to make Cardinals on this van. So we went to the mechanic. They said this the transmission finna go out. This is a bad car, y'all. I had to go to the dealership because they had promised to fix so much on the van yeah. before we even dumbest stuff ever. They said they was gonna fix so much, so many things. We yeah. had already bought the van though. Mind you, we used our rent money to buy this van. So the first was like two days away, and yep. we just spent our rent money on this van. So we didn't even know how we were going to pay our rent. We right. didn't even care. We were just like, we're going to get this van. We end up going back to the dealership, and like, we like, the van, it's so many problems with the van. So we like, forget it. We just want our money back. That was not going, y'all. When I tell y'all, I had to act a monkey. Everybody was laughing. Like we called people on the phone. Like our family, our mama, daddy, sister, brother. Like what do we do? And, like they laughed. They think this shit a joke, and it was it was so annoying. Like they thought it was. They really thought it was a joke. Like they was laughing in our face, bro. We end up getting in the car. I was like, we moving to Houston. We moving to Houston. Yeah, we end up getting our car back because she added a monkey in them folks dealership that they gave us our car back. So when we got home that day. We basically was just like, we tired of living like this. Like we was able to pay our rent, but we was like, we tired of living like this. And I was just like, you know what? I was like, cause Raven had always talked about moving to Houston since yeah. I've known her. Like when we were 16, she always talked about moving to Houston. So I was like, you know what? I'm moving to Houston. We about to do this YouTube. I was like, either you coming or you not. Cause she was just kind of like, 
I don't know. Like, she was just kind of, like, scared. Like, I'm very impulsive. So, I know yeah, how I can be scary. So. But I was like, you know what? I'm doing it. Either you coming with me or you not. And she was like kind of just seen her like she couldn't believe this was life like i don't yeah, know like, i was sick i was like i don't know this is too much we didn't sold all of my stuff, stuff to <laughs> move in his van so i was like we don't got nothing left here like i'm moving i'm moving to houston like i was like and we had just saw this girl i'm a, i don't know her tiktok but she had just moved to houston. oh no girl i'm gonna I'm find it i ain't seen her in a long time she had just there. moved to houston she got into with her family or she was just so sick of them and she she drove in her car from I think North Carolina or something. Yeah, some. And she there. drove to Houston. And she was staying in her car for with her day. dog. She, somehow she got met this. And family. she showed her journey on TikTok. She met this family, and she moved in with them. And I was like, you know what? We was going through similar things with our yeah. family. And I was like, I'm I'm moving to Houston. Like, so we got it. We we packed our stuff and we leased the apartment online. Signed our lease. I mean the cheapest apartment we could find like it was like and we eight hundred dollars. We moved to Houston. We stayed with China Mama for like eight weeks and we had moved to Houston. We had like um I think like three hundred dollars in our bank account when we moved to Houston. Yeah. And we had got to Houston and we um My mama had got our car towed for us. That was a big blessing. Yeah, because we was trying to figure out how we were gonna do that. We was gonna figure something out. Yeah, but, or we was like maybe we could drive it. And when I tell you Houston changed our life. Yeah, Houston really changed our life, like um, China was doing leasing. I was working at the bakery. Um, that's when I had started cooking, um, being a chef. I started being a chef. And we have learned so much in Houston. Yep. Like, Houston changed our, our life, excuse me. And before we moved to Houston, what was so crazy was Carmen, Carmen well, Corey had posted these chains. What, 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 was, the, what was the chains? SSG chains. The SSG chains. And Raven was, me and my brother was in the bed before we moved like to Houston, we were staying with my mama and yeah. she was like, I'm gonna get one of these chains. I'm yeah. gonna get one of these chains. And we was like, girl, why we moved to Houston? And this girl called me at work saying she got a SSG chain from I Corey. I couldn't even believe it, but I'm grateful for the opportunity. It was everything that happened. I'm yeah. Sorry, you know? So we learned a lot. Like I, my, my palette of food that I eat <laughs> has changed tremendously. Um, the girl is willing to try stuff now. She don't eat chicken tenders and fries no more. I eat everything. Now. She has grown up. She eat medium rare steak. Oh I love medium God. rare steak. But I just like I love. I just feel like Houston or anybody who's thinking about moving. I just feel like that's the best thing you could do for your life. Like if you're thinking about it, you need to do it. Like because people's like we're crazy. Like we're not gonna make it. This and the third. We went out there with no job, no money, no a plan. car that wouldn't even drive to Houston. Yeah. So I mean it was just like we were sleeping on the flow like then Raven's sister had gave us some got us some furniture and when I tell y'all we had that same furniture like we just Yeah it's just y'all can do it. Like if y'all thinking about moving out of Y'all can do it. Like, like I say go for it. I swear to God. Y'all gonna meet so many genuine it. people. Yeah. Like, you're going to be like, wow, like, I've been around my family and they talk about me like this or make me feel like this. You yeah. get around people who, sh complete strangers who will love you down. Literally. Like, like, like I still be like, dang, I should, I don't know if I should move back here. Like, I'm, I went to esthetician school and before we left, y'all, I went to an esthetician school and got scammed. And I was like, I'm never going to go to esthetician school. I got to figure out another way, something else I'm going to do. I went to esthetician school and... It was the best. Like I met people who got me through that that I didn't think yeah. like I was dead. We were dead broke when I went to esthetician school. Yeah. I got a call. The lady was like, I could get you in next next week or next month. And I quit my job January of 2023 with yeah. no money, no nothing. Raven had just um lost, lost job, her job with Carmen and Corey. With Carmen and Corey. She was trying to figure out how she was going to get the money that they owed us. So we were dead broke, y'all. Yeah, like we to the point. Nothing like we was. <laughs> we was. We had like a little savings, but it was already ate up. Like by, by the time, time you're trying to pay your bills, you got to pay your car insurance. Um, your car insurance in order for us to make money. So we was just like. We was just in bad. Yeah, bro. Shit, like, man. and she was doing all the working because I'm in school every day from nine to nine to five. Yeah. So I can't make no money. And y'all, uh, when I tell y'all, uh, I thought me and my wife, like, we went through the toughest time in our relationship yeah. ever. Like, 
I was just like, I don't want to be with you no more. I don't know what I want. I just yeah. And we had like like literally got so depressed. And I if you got a vision, forget oh, what man. your family or what your friends or what your what your significant other think. Like do it. Do it. You can do it. Like, Cause Raven told me so many times, like, bro, if you don't jump on the bandwagon, like, I'm about to do this without you. Like, I really want to do this. I've seen this for myself. And it was just like I just kind of woke up and was like, damn, you right. Like, you literally but, can do whatever you put your mind to. You just gotta do it. We came out here on the. We came out here. When was that? Uh. When we came out August. Here? August. We yeah, came we out here in August. August. So mind you, I graduated esthetician school. I started January. February, I think May. May. Yeah. So I graduated May. So then June, July, July like y'all, it had just started getting worse. Like our life was like we thought we were like, like we was barely, barely making ends meet. Like I'm telling you, me and my wife, I had like a thousand Chick Fil A points, y'all, because every time I would eat Chick Fil A, I didn't play by my points. I never spent my points. points. I never just so happy, God, <laughs> if we we didn't have nothing to eat, y'all. Like it was to the point. We was about to get evicted. We were just trying to like make this money to pay these people that we didn't have not, no money to get us nothing to eat. So we was eating off my Chick Fil A points every single day. That Chick Fil A yeah. points fed us for I think like a week straight, a whole week, like nothing yeah. to eat. And then I would start getting little rewards like free chicken sandwich, like yeah, God like really made a way for us, us in this season. He like. carried us, baby. And like in the blessing that we received, it was like right on time. Like, so we got uh, the biggest blessing of our life, life <laughs> like unbelievable, so, and we were able to pay. Like I'm talking all about of our debt off. <laughs> right before I got an eviction. Like I was gonna get an eviction at what like eleven o'clock that morning. Yeah. And eleven o'clock that morning everything was clear <laughs> like everything was clear everything so god is definitely amazing like we was we we was like losing it like we was going crazy and then so, we came out here we was out here for like a month and then we decided we wanted to move back so we can do things a lot different this time so and i decided that we should really move in my mom because i just feel like you know we need to downsize our life really get it together like we could have yeah. kept our apartment because the balance was clear. Yeah, we was good. And we could have like, kept, you know, robbing Peter to pay Paul or like, you know, working two, three jobs. But yeah. I just was like, you know, we didn't we really, really want that. We for really, us, like, we really want to chase our dreams. And I feel like we've we tried to chase we tried chasing our dreams with just paying all these bills and all this stuff. It was it's hard. So it's like if we got if we can, if we can get the help, yeah, like, we can do it. Like so. So I mean, it's a big you know difference. You know, you kind of be uncomfortable yeah. when you used to living a certain way, way and doing, doing things a certain way. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, just being on your own and you moving back in with mom, it's kind of difficult, especially being married. Yeah. You know? So but it can be hard sometimes. The but. sacrifices that we're making now, me and Raven are like, we, we can feel it. Like, we yeah. can feel it. So we know that it's so. Like, I got burps like crazy. I'm sorry, y'all. We know that our life is really about to change and we're just like no matter two followers 200 followers 2000 followers we're gonna give y'all this content we're gonna really yeah. chase our dreams and we're not only doing this for y'all we're doing this doing this for ourselves to document our life yeah. our journey because the stories that we're telling y'all about now we're like damn why we, we don't got this <laughs> like why we can't show people this because people don't believe like we just do it like y'all it'd be worth it though y'all i'm not gonna <laughs> lie that stuff be, it'd be so worth it like we're going through it sometimes it may seem like why am i doing this yeah. but it'd be like at the end be like oh that was worth it like that was I would fun. Do it all over. <laughs> yeah i would do it all over like, again. it was worth it so like we became ourselves when we moved to houston it was like like yeah. these people that we are today we were not these people like at i was all. so insecure y'all i wouldn't take pictures i didn't love myself like my wife spoke life over me every single day <laughs> like my wife spoke life like you're beautiful you're gorgeous, like, yo, chocolate brown skin. Like, I never <laughs> thought this about myself. And it was just like, even how I carried myself, my hair would just be on the top of my head. I'd go through these breakdowns, mental breakdowns, and i just cut out my hair off my head. Yeah. Like, so, that's my favorite thing to do, cut my hair off my head. But you cut off I ain't cut my hair off my head no more. But, yeah, this the beginning of the journey, like. Yeah. So, we caught y'all up to speed of where we been, what 
who we are and what we've been through. And now we're recording yeah. the rest of the journey, baby. Y'all ain't gonna miss nothing else. For real, because it's gonna be worth seeing. Yeah, <laughs> and we're gonna show y'all the good, the bad, and the ugly. Like, we're not. We're not always happy. And we're not sugarcoating a life, and we're not gonna tell any lies and we're not living a lie anymore like yeah. me and Raven used to never show people our struggle like people think like we got it all figured out we got yeah. it all together uh, we, we don't struggle we yeah. struggle we have our day of our days trust me we do but we now y'all gonna see all the time we yeah this ain't perfect you know it but it's worth it, it is. <laughs> Definitely. and i feel like when y'all get somebody who love you unconditionally and who will go through life like the person who will go broke with you cherish them baby through some things <laughs> and this woman ain't never left me and i ain't never left her so you know what's meant to be is meant yeah and so, god is amazing y'all amazing lie. like <laughs> and two i don't know if y'all believe in god or not but over here we're a god fear, fear and family and y'all gonna get a lot of content yeah. about god because in when China, we didn't we just was not like this close with god and <laughs> China don't play. She be, she don't be playing with me. <laughs> the relationship has changed. Like we did not just have a relationship with God, y'all. We was not talking to God. Like we was questioning God. And when I tell y'all, life was going so horrible. Yeah. The the moment you start actually having faith and believing, like, and I'm not saying this like, no, this some real stuff. Like when you actually start believing and put your worries in this man's hand, yeah. your life will change. change. When I tell y'all our life changed so much, we still be like, dang. <laughs> we be like, we be right now, she will just come out knowing like, man, God is amazing. Like, we just be like, can't believe it sometimes. Like, we so grateful for the little things. Cause like, yeah, yeah we so, been through some stuff. So it's like. If you ever feeling like you ain't where you want to be in life, baby, or you ain't got what you want to have, or, you know, you barely making ends meet, or ends probably ain't meeting. Yeah. You need to turn to God. Baby. Turn to God. We learned to don't pick up that phone. Don't uh, pick up that phone. Turn to God. Yeah. Like, me and my wife don't play. Life. Like, it was to the point we didn't know how to pray together. It was awkward at first. Yeah. And we would just be like, just talk. Like, just talk. Yeah. Just, just talk. talk. Like, you talking to me. Just talk. Right. <laughs> so that's what we do. We just pray, you know, and believe yeah. that it's going to happen. Have faith. Just give them all our words, you know? Yeah. God yeah. is definitely amazing, y'all. Try to stay tuned. And we're going to give y'all more content. Uncut, raw, and just us being us. And y'all going to yeah. watch us grow. Um, and we just ask to anyone who wants to support us, just click that subscribe button. Like. Like, comment. comment. And share with your family, friends, your aunties, uncles, sister, brothers. Anybody, sister, baby. Anybody who feel like <laughs> you feel like you know need to see us and just see our journey we 22 and 23 and we ain't got it figured out by far but we know the path that we want to be down on and we know what we got to do and we're going to be consistent yeah so y'all gonna see us in this car a lot <laughs> we, this this how we make our money right now so this yeah wrong with that we pray for this like we both don't really want to work a job if we do part-time but yeah. we've chased we've chased money so yeah. much and lost sight of the dreams like oh we're gonna work a job we're gonna work two jobs and do this now nah, we ain't doing it no yeah. more part-time we're gonna go without some things we've made a lot of sacrifices a yeah. few more won't hurt it won't at all so it's bigger it's bigger than this yeah so, so we love y'all and we hope we, y'all have an amazing day yeah and we just ask that y'all join the family two girls one journey hey, hey. hoping and praying on the